Okay, this is my Yamaha EF2000 watt generator that I purchased off of eBay about a year and a half ago. Just in case the electricity goes out where I live, I'd have something to watch TV, have my refrigerator running. And Yamaha, it was a toss up between a Yamaha and a Honda. I picked the Yamaha because it has that fuel shutoff gauge right there. Because if you leave gasoline in these generators for an extended period of time, you'll have a heck of a time trying to start them up again. So that's a good idea to have a shutoff valve. You run your generator dry. After watching um, All the Chaos with Sandy a year and a half ago, I decided, well, last year I decided to get a conversion kit that I've been wanting to get. And I found a place in Maine called Central Maine Diesel that converts them. They'll sell you a kit and you can put it on yourself, but since this is an inverter, I had to take the carburetor off, mail them the carburetor, they drilled it out, and they sent me back the carburetor and the kit, and my son-in-law and I installed it. It only took about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And it makes a um, converter, the conversion lets you run the generator on propane, natural gas, or gasoline, whichever you want. So I went to Lowe's and bought some tanks, and I had them filled up, and I got two 40-pound tanks and two 20-pound tanks. And they'll let their generator run for quite a long time with those. The kit comes with this high pressure um, regulator that you have to install on the side of the of the um, generator. And also I had to buy one at Lowe's for the tank. And I also bought a little gauge so I can see how much um, propane was in the tank. If you're going to have one of these, you should also have um, a pretty good quality extension cord. This is one of these contractors, 10 or 12 gauge. Got it at Sam's, cost me like 25 bucks, 50 foot. Because you definitely want a good quality extension cord if you're going to use your refrigerator. Also, I have a, a safe, you know, a lock and a um, cable. Because people like to take these from you. And to prevent that, I always make sure I lock it to something. Got a good lock too. And it came with a battery charging kit. So you can charge batteries and set it up for the generator. And you want to make sure you always have some oil. Because these do use oil. And if you run out of oil, then you're out of luck. So whenever I get a couple extra bucks, I go out to the dealer and buy some, some um, generator oil. This one is Honda, but it's still good for the Yamaha. To start it up, all you have to do is prime it. That little button back there, you just push it. Press it for a second. It's kind of hard to get at. And it's like a choke. Just make sure it's on. And that is being run off propane. Propane doesn't have as much energy as gasoline, so you won't get quite as much power, like 1600 watts with gasoline on normal, you might get around 1525 watts continuous, because the propane just doesn't have as much energy, but it's still good enough.